Hi there, Cosmic Family. My name is Leal in this incarnation. So today I wanted to talk about the inner child because um, all of us have wounds. Uh, these wounds uh, come comes from our uh, clan, our family uh, DNA, uh, and actually our souls chose uh, have chosen these wounds in order to heal the unconscious collective. We are in a big planetary process, so. I think I already said this, but uh, we all experimented this, and no matter if I uh, was raised in an archetypical family, you know, or if I experimented more traumatic situations, every one of us uh, had a part, uh, an emotional uh, need that wasn't supplied. So it's very important to understand this because uh, we all uh, going to we are all, all going to experiment um, intense emotions in the process of healing. This uh, thing is something that I said the other day when uh, I talked about emotions and how to connect and validate them. So I think is uh, the labor with the inner child is essential. And this is something that we can practice as much as we want and every time we need it because um, it's the way that we are integrating those wounds, we are uh, healing them and transforming them um, and it's the way that we are becoming adults. And this is something very important because if we are not responsible for our emotions, if we, if we are not responsible for our own wounds, we are going to project them in other people and we are going to ask our, our partner, our friends um, or people to uh, be our mother or our father and uh, we are going to project these uh, relationships from a, a place of lack and, and, and from need, you know. And um, this doesn't mean that we don't have to be, uh, that we don't have to ask for help, or that that we can, we couldn't, uh, we could not count on other people. Of course not. Uh, in fact, a healthy relationship has to do with uh, reciprocity. Uh, has to do with um, count on others. Uh, while I I am in in tough process, but. It's about to, to share uh, beautiful moments too. And it's important that uh, people are not there to save us. We are our own uh, saviors. So um, it's important to be responsible about our emotions and our wounds because many times we are, uh, if we are not doing this, we're going to ask for other people to um, save us from... Uh, from the feelings we are feeling. So, um, I think something very important that has to do with inner child is that um, the every one of us n n need to be loved and unseen. This is a, a wish that we all have, and uh, that is something that we can practice with ourselves. We can give that to ourselves and. Uh, it could be a long way, you know, it doesn't mean we are going to feel uh, whole and complete tomorrow, but uh, it's something that we can practice and practice and this will become more fluid every time we are doing it. So, uh, every time we are, um, for example, exposed to things that could be uh, attached to these wounds, uh, could be critic critics, it could be that... Um, I am not. I am not having a healthy pattern with conflicts. For example, I, I need to shout, or um, uh, I, I instant project my emotions on the on the other, or um, it could be that uh, I I stop talk, talking to that person to punish them, or it could be. Uh, Many things that are, are activating our wounds, our, our, our abandonment wound, our reject wound. And um, of course, there's people that uh, have this tendency to have an, an um, codependence attachment. And there's other people that uh, are more ultra independent. So um, 
it's very usual that these, these people attract uh, themselves in order to heal these patterns. So um, once we identify all of this, it's important that is, if something is triggering us, it is activating uh, our, our wounds. So if we are feeling very intense emotions, uh, if we are feeling a lot of anger or a lot of sadness or a lot of fear, uh, we could feel panic many times. Uh, we can practice to visualize our own inner child uh, of the age we want uh, and to talk to to that to that inner child, you know, to uh, free uh, free her or free him, um, to feel whatever they are feeling, and to tell him that um, we are going to protect them now, and that we are going to um, love them, and that we are the adults now, and they are safe. And this practice with our inner child uh, will uh, integrate, you know, will integrate all these these things, and we are um, actually starting a big transformation inside. Uh, I'm saying this because many times um, we could ask for other people to uh, to come uh, in a moment of crisis, and we are um, to come to us. You know, it happened to me with uh, ex-partners that uh, I wanted to to be saved uh, from the, the the things I was feeling and many times I did and so um, I, w I didn't know how to uh, deal with these emotions so this way to visualize our inner child and this could apply for every situation we need to uh, is something that it's very very useful because uh, we are attending the, the, the parts that wasn't um, seen when we were uh, children. So it's important to say that usually the people that are close to us or the people that we most love or the people that we are connecting to uh, right now are the ones who uh, usually trigger these inner wounds uh, of, the, of the inner child. So uh, it's important to understand that uh, every time they are doing that, uh, a, door, a door is opening for us to, to heal that. And um, if we are talking about, I, I said this in, in other videos about um, relationships, uh, but if we created a relationship with a partner from these places in which we are projecting um, this um, uh, mother father pattern when we are looking at our mother or our father in our partner uh, that situation could be changed only if the if both parts are willing to do it because if i am doing that that labor but my partner it's not willing to do it then uh, we can change that and many times when that happen it's better to leave that relationship uh, because um, the other per person simply is not uh, willing or, or it's not uh, his or her time to go with that process. So we have to respect that. We have to, we have to respect the other because uh, many times we could, um, you know, we could feel that we want other people do uh, a process just to uh, be with us. And that is our uh, our wound of, of inner child again. Uh, so it's very important to understand this because uh, this labor could take us um, many times to to um, leave relationships because they they can't come with us in this journey. So um, well. I just wanted to share this and I think it's very important to practice this in order to be responsible for our own emotions and to prevent the projection on others as much as we can and it doesn't matter if we are doing that, I will talk about that in other videos, but uh, we all do it, I mean. Uh, but this way we are dealing with our emotions in a, in a more healthy way. Uh, with a more healthy foundation and 
um, we stop the re reactions of this ego that many times we have. And we channel this energy to do uh, creative things or to heal. So thank you, everybody. I'm ending the video here. Uh, see you tomorrow. Ciao, ciao.